morning. Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm going to wait for some of you to get on here. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning. It's 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Good morning wherever you are in the world. If you're up and ready, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. It is a privilege to be among the living. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. God is good. I say God is good. Hallelujah. Um, I'm going to wait for a couple of you to get on here and then I'm going to roll. Hallelujah. I haven't been up on here for a while as far as in the morning time. Um, but God had a lot on my heart. And so I'm going to good morning. Good morning, Kim Evans. Good morning, Eric. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning, Shirley Davis. Good morning, Sunshine State. Good morning. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Um, good morning, Naveen. I hope I'm saying your name right. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all, the serious people of God, the ones that are up like this. Come on, Miss Shirley. Praise God. All right. So, first of all, let me go ahead and do a disclaimer. Um, what you're going to hear is going to be very graphic. Um, good morning, Miss Linda. Y'all know I don't just put up anything, but the way that this brother was speaking, um, this is what I wish. If you're going to... Good morning, Tamaya. I hope that's the way that you pronounce your name. If you're going to speak on any subject, we have to learn how to not use so much bad language, people, because your delivery, you know, and I say this oftentimes, the rapper Tupac, his concept was real. What he saw was real. What he talked about was real, but his delivery, um, it has to be within God's standards. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking to you this morning. I don't care how anointed you are, how appointed you are. And I had to clean up my act, just to be honest with you. God was like, Diana, there's certain words you cannot say. It's not that you're not being real, but you have to be honorable. Come on, somebody. You have to walk in integrity. So let me go ahead and do my disclaimer. Um, but I have to show the video. So it's going to, you know, he curses a couple of times and I do apologize for that. But just I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you protect everyone's spirit, their gates. Father God, let nothing enter in that is unpure, Father God. But just let knowledge and wisdom pierce their hearts like never before. Hallelujah to his name. And so long story short, this really bothered my spirit. And I got up with it even after praying this morning. So I know I'm supposed to introduce this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a little hoarse this morning. Um. People of God, we're in a serious time where the body of Christ is falling. Well, a lot of people are falling. God says that people are conforming to the world. So I wanted to read, um, usually I go with the King James Version, but I'm going to actually read the Narrow Gate um, Version, um, which I'm coming from Matthew seven thirteen. So please bear with me. All right, here we go. All right, so the Bible says that in everything do as to others you have done to you for the essence of the law of the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many enter to, through it. But small is the gate and narrow the way that leads to life and only few find it. And that was the word of God. People of God, that's what's happening. And so let me read the um, King James Version. It says, enter by the narrow gate. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. Well, I like the the King James Bible. Enter ye at, in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go into, and they're at. I'm sorry. So basically what God was telling me is that, um, and I need to do another disclaimer. I'm not attacking anybody. I need y'all to know that. I love everybody, but sin is sin. But I notice what they're doing. They're trying to dismantle the order of God. So I'm going to go ahead and do a disclaimer. Another thing, I love all colors. You know, he's sticking to the subject about black people, but it's all colors that God want this video. Because guess what? A man is a man and a woman is a woman. But if you, if you, if you, if you attack the order of God, you attack the authority of God, which dismantles the system of God. I just said something. Come on, somebody. So I'm going to let you guys listen to this, um, you know. Just bear with me. Again, excuse the brother's um language. I don't know why y'all y'all gotta stop cursing so much. Okay, now why the video? Hold on. Okay, here we go. This morning, if y'all don't know, Tank was on the Breakfast Club making this point clear of what he meant and what he was talking about. Um 
So before we even get started, I want to just make it very, very clear. You know, I got to draw my uh, my line in the sand, period. I got to draw my line in the sand. There's too many gray areas. I'm sick of these gray areas. And um, and so this means I got to tighten up in my life as well. So, And, and, and I got to say something. I'm interrupting on purpose. What my question is, is it shouldn't be this brother really speaking on it, but God is using him. Where is the leaders of the church? I'm talking about the male figures. And I challenge every last one of you to pass this on to a male leader. You should have been in this position because you would have said it uh, a little different. And then you would, uh, you, you would could reach a whole lot of people. This brother is only going to reach a few people because the way he said it. But he, what he said was very detrimental. So please listen, everyone. And again, excuse the language. I will be looking in that mirror and tightening it up because I'm done with the gray areas. Um, or at least mentally I'm done. Now I need for my feet to match my to match my perspective. But I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. I just wanted to be known that um me personally, I don't respect Tank. Um, uh, me personally, um I don't have no respect for Charlemagne the God or Angela Yee. Or anybody else out there, man. You know, what I'm going to say is real, is real direct. I grew up in a home where my grandfathers, both of my grandfathers, one has passed, one is still living. I grew in a society where men were present, men were active, uh, men were defensive as far as like they'll defend for their families. I was, I, I'm cut from a cloth where men did, men did just men were men like men men there's like every dude in my family is a is a man's man you know what i'm saying all this new pandering that's going on where we're where society is blur is like blending the lines the blending the um you know from gay topic to feminine topic to i'm just i'm done with it i'm done with it bro i'm done with it my like i said my grandfather is rolling over in his grave you know, on, 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 on what we're putting up with today as men. My grandfather would have cussed everybody out. My grandfather would have just went completely off. Dog home singing, rest in peace, man. My grandfather ain't wasn't going for the nonsense. I just can't believe how we're just pandering. We're trying to make things that shouldn't be normal, normal. I, you know, so number one, salute to all my real guys out there. Salute to all the men, men. We're not going to use the alpha, beta bullshit. Salute to all my real men. The men, men out there who are, who just stand firm on their principles and values. And you know what a man is. Let me tell y'all something, man. What I seen on the Breakfast Club this morning yet again uh, is just as trash and as garbage. Um, you know, uh, Tank talking about how he goes to the woman's section and he buys women's shirts. You know, man, like, stop, dude. Like, come on. I understand fashion has went forward a little bit. Even myself, I like to be trendy. I like to wear, you know, grown men clothes, more of a tailored look. I understand that, man. But never in the history of being black have I went to a woman's section and bought, a, bought an article of clothing. And just the fact that he is so proud of doing that, just the fact that he sees nothing wrong with that is a problem. Charlemagne the guy co-signed him laughing at him asking him well Tank how many dicks does it take for you to be gay it's, like, this is not funny this is not cute it's not cool like where have men where have we went wrong you know what I'm saying like where have we went wrong that's not cool that's not how we rock that's not how we that's not how we move see the culture I grew up in, boy, Charlemagne would have been drugged. But I guarantee you the way Charlemagne talking now, he wasn't talking like that back in Monk's Corner in South Carolina. I guarantee it. Because he would have been drugged. You know, and you know, like I said, dude, it's too many it's too it's too many gray areas. And I just ain't got respect for it. Call it what you wanna call it. Ladies, y'all keep yelling, y'all like men, y'all like strong men, but y'all black women, y'all are too much of an advocate of these new feminine sugar booty ass dudes out here. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all doing too much. Y'all co-signing. When a nigga start talking gray area, when a grown ass black man starts talking gray, speaking in gray area about, you know, pandering and making jokes out of this, that's a huge red flag, man. Leave that dude alone. 
You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just disappointed as a whole when it comes to black men and where the direction and media where we're going. This is just, this is, this is just a, a very frustrating topic for me. You know, and then you have Pharrell on the cover of GQ talking about the new masculinity. Pharrell, I'll push you off a building. Don't do that. You speak for yourself. If you want to be a funny bunny, you speak for yourself. You speak, don't, 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 don't try to redefine the definition of masculinity, bro, because you confused. My grandfather didn't wear no, no, no starter jacket dress, nigga. Ain't a man in my family walking around in a dress home, boy. That ain't masculinity in my family. That ain't masculinity in my circle. That ain't the masculinity in my community. Period. For real, you out of pocket. Big time. All this new blending of the whatever Malik Yoba talking about, um, we need to we need to go back and change the definition of what's heterosexual because he feels that trans women are women. I'm I'm gonna say something y'all don't want to hear. And look at me, I don't care. Just because you cut your dick off don't make you a woman, dumbass. You a nigga without a dick. You a dude. Your feelings don't change DNA. Your feelings don't change biology. You can feel how you want to feel, but facts will still remain. And for all you guys out there who is playing the, gr the gray area, who's subscribing to this, you're just followers. Men are supposed to be leaders. Leaders. Y'all keep following these feminine ways. You're reminding me just back in the Bible when, e when Adam followed Eve. When Adam followed Eve, what happened? When Adam followed Eve, what happened, man? Quit following this feminine nonsense. You are a man, bro. It is okay to say no. It is okay to say hell no. It is okay to say I'm not rocking like that. My family not rocking like that. Bring real men back. Bring real men men back for real you are not the epitome of what a man is period Malik Yoba you are not the definition of manhood period Tank you are not the definition of manhood men are not shopping deliberately in the woman's section so they can buy a shirt purple, uh, purposely with a low drift he says like, who, what man buys clothes in the woman's section? I can't. I can't. And, and listen, listen, I can't do it. Shout out to the real women who understand and respect manhood. Shout out to the real fellas out there who understand and respect manhood. Let me tell you something else, too, for all the women out there who going to get the game twisted. For all you women out there who is co-signing all this femininity amongst men, even if they're heterosexual. For all you black women out there who is co-signing this, statistics show the women who support the femininity of men don't know what a man looks like. A.K.A. shows that you had some type of dysfunction growing up in your own home. And I challenge any one of these ladies out here, fellas, pull Tell me if I'm wrong. If you know a woman who is heavily into the movement of feminizing black men, who don't see nothing wrong with masculine, uh, 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 women being masculine and men being overly feminine. Look at how they grew up. I guarantee you their father dropped the ball. I guarantee you somebody in their family dropped the ball. It could have been some molestation going on. It could have been some rape going on. It could have been some gay going on. Something in their household wasn't normal. Because I know a lot of women who grew up in healthy households who don't support the feminization of men at all. And shout out to you. Y'all are not going to reverse the game just because the majority of people is co-signing this trash. Don't make it right. All that means is the majority of people are fucked up. That's what that means. The majority of people are confused. They was brought up in dysfunction they're trying to normalize dysfunction and i just want to make it clear antoine ain't going antoine ain't siding antoine ain't co-signing 
if you're not talking a strong heterosexual alpha black male who is married to a strong heterosexual black woman to raise strong heterosexual black kids and repeat that process, whatever family structure you call yourself talking about, you're speaking French to me. You're speaking Chinese to me. That's the only family union I recognize. That's the only family structure I recognize. Men don't shop in no damn female section. I don't care how a uh, 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 straight fit my jeans is or whatever. These jeans were still bought in the man section. And it's still a whole real ass nigga in these jeans. And don't get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's too many gray areas. It's too many gray areas when it comes to manhood. Listen, Kimfo, men don't wear no damn blouses. Men don't talk about dicks. Charlemagne and Tank on the show talking about dick. They, they said the word, that damn word, 25 damn times. Pause. No real man doing that. No real man talking to another man about their private parts, man. What part of the game is this? And they just laughing and he he and a ha ha. That's not manhood, bro. That's not manhood. Charlemagne, I ain't got no respect for you. Tank, I ain't got no respect for you. Pharrell, I ain't got no respect for you. Malik Yoba, I ain't got no respect for you. And any one of you other niggas out here who playing in that gray area, who plays in that gray area, Tell me, well, if you do this, you, you're not gay, you're bisexual. No, dumbass. Ain't no such thing as bisexual, nigga. If you're gay, you're gay. If you're not, you're not. If you suck a dick one time, nigga, you're gay. Period. If you women are out there willing to date a nigga who sucked dick before, you're a clown as a woman. Stop the bullshit. Stop co-signing, feminizing black men. Black men are not designed to be feminized. I'll be so damn happy when we as a community can start talking about some real shit. Black men need to be learning how to shoot guns. Black men need to know how to plant food to provide just in case shit go down. Black men need to know how to load their weapons. Black men need to know how to clean their weapons. Black men need to know how to produce income. Black men need to know how to how to how to combat, how to have uh, uh, how to fight, rather boxing, taekwondo, martial arts, whatever. Black men, we need to be strong. We need to be protected. We need to defend and, and take up for our families. Manhood ain't got nothing to do with no damn me dress, bro. Real men don't get on a radio podcast and talk about another man's dick, period. Real men don't get on no podcast and talk about dick, period. You, nigga, you funny style, homeboy. And we ain't cut from that cloth, nigga. My grandfather rolled into his grave, nigga. My uncles are laughing at y'all. My cousins is laughing at y'all. I'm laughing. We ain't cut from that cloth. And I don't give a damn who like it. I don't give a damn who don't like it. We ain't rocking that way. I'm just, I'm tired of it. Fellas, I need for y'all to speak up. Real nigga shit. I need for the real men to stand up and speak up. Quit letting these gray area, these new funny style dudes lead the conversation. Y'all niggas are not qualified to speak anything about manhood, about anything along those lines. You have no idea what manhood is. Not the way you moving. So, anywho, my definition closing now, Tank, you gay. I don't give a damn what you got to say. You gay. Or even if you're not gay, nigga, you do some stuff and you're, you're about stuff that doesn't align with malehood, period. My definition, my um, uh, my opinion, so I can't rock with it and I'm not going to rock with it. So if you ladies like gay men who, who bisexual gay men, if that's, what, if that's the new style, because in Australia they say a large percentage of married women are married to bisexual men. If that's what y'all ladies like now, if that's what y'all on then, then miss me with it. We ain't rocking that way. We ain't rocking that way. And I don't support it. So closing out, shout out to the real men. Shout out to the real women who, who respect masculinity. And all you new funny style niggas who, who, who want to do all this new propaganda, miss me with that. You get no love or respect from Antoine Holmes, period. Period. I'm done with the Breakfast Club. I'm done with this whole left-sided perspective. I ain't no liberal. I'm a man. All right, I'm out. 
So, okay, you guys. Hey, my so loves. Basically, <laughs> so basically, y'all heard what he said, and again, I apologize. I don't, I don't. We gotta stop cursing, you guys. If you're gonna get a a point across, and for people, and for God to co-sign it. I mean, it was a very powerful what he was saying. I don't agree with all the curse words. I don't agree with him saying he'll push for it off a building. You can't do certain things because you want your delivery not only to be powerful, but effective. That's what I'm talking about. It, it, he was talking the truth, but we wanted to reach everyone. S some people, they don't want to listen to curse words. They don't want it. And, and, and trust me, here's the deal. I, I, I cover myself. God, protect my ear gates, my spirit. Don't let anything that's I've seen go. And I've already prayed over this broadcast. But I just wanted you all to know, I'm still going to ask the question, you guys. Why didn't a pastor, a preacher, I'm talking about one of these elite ones, one of these famous ones, they should have addressed this. They should have been addressed this. You see, we women, we can only go so far because regardless of how powerful, and I know I'm a powerful woman of God, I know my right. A man has authority over a woman, period, in the story. And do you guys, do you see what they're doing? You guys, I'm telling you, it feels like Sodom and Gomorrah. And, it, and to be honest with you, yes, they're going to throw us under the bus, the ones that oppose. Because this is the world system. This is the beast system. And that's why God wanted me to talk about it. Most people are following the beast system. You guys, the end is here. So I pray that you're strong enough to, you know... I'm going to end it like this. We really pray, traded places with Jesus Christ. We're going to that cross. We will die. But my question is, why do we have a church that's afraid to stand up and die? Yeah, they're going to kill us. I promise you they're going to kill us for the truth. They did it to Jesus. And we have a church that's scared to die. No, I'm going to conform. I'm scared. I don't want nothing to happen to my family. I don't want nothing to happen to my money. I don't want, honey, when you follow Jesus, you might as well... You can have it all, even my life, because that's what we conform to when we really say yes. So I want y'all to look at this scripture also. Isaiah 35, 8 says, And there will be a highway called the way of holiness. The unclean will not travel it. Only those who walk in that way and fools not stray unto it. You, and then it says Matthew 7, 14 again, But small is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to life and only few find it. Luke 13, 24 says, make every effort to enter through the narrow door for many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to people of God. This stuff is real. This stuff is real. You better make a choice. You on God's side or you on the world side, because I'm going to be honest with you. Most people are conforming and that's because out of fear, you know, that one day that chip coming and, and you're going to be able to buy, sell, trade, eat nothing. Let's just be real. And, and most people are scared of that. I'm, I'm going to do what they say. You'll turn on, on people. You'll, and another thing, I don't agree with him just talking about the black people. It's all people that need to stand up for this. All races. Because one thing about it, and I need y'all to know, in heaven there is no sections. We're going to all be together. Ain't no black section, no white section, no Chinese section, no Asian section. Honey, we're going to all be together. I don't agree with. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why a strong black leader haven't addressed this by now. But yet, they famous. And y'all love to have it so. Yeah, I said it. Come on, somebody. Wake up. Let's wake up. Let's pray. It's real. Wow, my God, my God, my God. Praise God, praise God. So you guys have a blessed day. Stand up for something or you'll fall for anything, God says. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.